Hi besties, how's it going? Um, okay, so I promised we would do this. Fuck, is there any spoilers behind me? No, we're fine, we're fine. Um, so welcome to the Sugar and Sloth office. Normally it's obviously um, me at home alone, but I've got some people here to meet you and um, to introduce you. So this is our Friday meeting and I did promise that we would start filming it, um, much to the horror of everyone else. Um, but I just think it's gonna be really exciting. You guys are gonna know exactly what's going on at Sugar and Sloth. Um, you're gonna be able to feed back and um, really importantly, actually, you're gonna be able to hold me accountable because as part of these meetings, I'm gonna say what I'm gonna do um, each week and then if I haven't done it by the end of the week um, you need to have words with me so um normally um we've got Holly here on a Friday you obviously know Holly um she's on holiday today but um we have Jen we have our tiny party club ninja Jen um who has kind of been with Sugar and Soft for a while like packing your boxes um but has recently last month Jen last this month last, last month, month. Last month, yeah, I know, it feels yeah. like ages, but oh, yeah, last month um, Jen has been packing orders, and today Jen has been packing your orders, so if you ordered something and you got a shipping notification today, you'll have a little um, shipped by Jen sticker, mm -hmm. so there's Jen, oh, Hi. is that Jen? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we also have someone we haven't met, um, and we're still trying to think of a name for Sophie, but we're kind of stuck on Christmas Elf at the moment, um, but yeah, literally this month, like two weeks, how long have you been here? Two weeks. Maybe yeah, this is Sophie. Oh, <laughs> so this is our um super socially distant, super awkward meeting. I'm just gonna pop you besties over here to observe to observe our meeting. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do is um we use this as an opportunity to share some feedback, some lovely feedback from you guys um, with the team. Um, and then I'm going to talk a little bit about this stuff, which I kind of wish I'd hid now because I don't want you to, it looks a bit cringe maybe if you just read it. Um, and Sophie's going to have to sit through that again because I did that the other day, didn't I? Um, my little warm up. Um, okay, I'm going to share some feedback. Right. So, these are um, shop reviews and emails that I've got and what else? Oh, and Facebook reviews as well. So, what I've been doing is like screenshotting emails and things when I see them around the internet. And just before we did this, I was like, fudge, I normally just have it on my phone. So I had to like, write them in my beautiful handwriting. <laughs> um, so I'll attempt to read them on the back of this PayPal letter. <laughs> um, very, very professional. And this is on an envelope as well. So mm -hmm. super, super professional. I've got my professional cat ears on as well, but. Um, okay, so Janine says, um, on the 29th it was, um, absolutely incredible shop, the best package opening experience um, ever. Definitely recommend if you're looking to treat yourself. So thank you, Janine, for your lovely words for the team. Um, okay, so on the 29th, we've got Sarah, who says, oh, so fab, um, perfect for my daughter. Sure, she will love it. Great packaging. Thanks so much. We'll be ordering. Um, I love, I can't even read my own bloody writing. Um, we'll be ordering more. I love lots of your stuff. So thanks, Sarah. Um, okay, so on the 28th, we've got Scout. Really fun products and beautifully packaged, we'll definitely reorder. And then we've got a Facebook one, um, so these are like shop reviews, we've got a Facebook one from Donna, who I'm pretty sure is a bestie. Um, received my first order and the bits were wonderful, it was produced as a gift and everything was so nicely wrapped. Um, okay, and then we've got some, um, oh it's another shop review from Cindy on the 27th, um, the most pleasant shopping experience. Um, items arrived quickly to their destination. It was a gift and the receiver loved it. Loved it is in capitals. Um, super cute and adorable and sweary. It was perfect. And then the last one um, I want to share with you is an email I got from the lovely Laura. Um, and she just says, Hi, I just wanted to take the time to email you and say a huge thank you. I received my order today um, and it made me so happy. Thank you for all that you do. The Insta account and stories really help. I know this year has been tough for everyone, um, but you have really helped me in little ways by making me laugh every day. That's such a positive thing and I'm so grateful. So thank you lovely Bestie and thank you team. Um, we've got a couple more as well, um, but Jen has, so um, the little orders that you leave us in your notes, you do see them when we're packing and we don't always reply, but um, we are going to start saving them and reading them out on Fridays. Um, Okay, so are you okay if I, yeah. if I angle? Oh. Okay, a little oh, nice. jerky, a jerky <laughs> angle there. <laughs> yeah, this is one I saw yesterday, I think it was. Um, and I thought it was really lovely. They do bring a smile to our face, even though we can't reply all the time. 
um, but it just says, Hi Anita, this is a present for my girlfriend. She's had a horrible mental health month and Halloween is usually her favourite time of year, but she doesn't even seem to have the willpower to celebrate. So I wanted to get her a little something, even though things are tight at the moment. She's a huge fan of sugar and sloth, so I thought, what would be better? Thank you for bringing some joy to the love of my life's face. You are truly magic. Aww, Which is why I love you. <laughs> I keep it anonymous, but yeah, yeah. obviously. Um, so there's nice people out there. And the next one is, your stuff is so cheerful and tickles me so much. Aww, <laughs> thank you. Positivity. Um, okay, so we were, well, we weren't actually. I was always going to film this one because it's the first one. But what I was saying um, to the guys is that I think we can work up to doing these live and literally have your comments coming on because um, I think that would be amazing. But um, I need my little bit scared just doing it, so okay, we'll work up to that. Um, okay, so we've got organised notes. Um, okay, so oh, and I just want to say a massive thank you to Sophie today, who's been working on your advent calendars, which are going live on Sunday. Um, thank you. <laughs> I'll figure out a way to make it less cringe somehow. Yeah. Off the copyright issue. <laughs> <Forget that. laughs> um, and yeah so and then in, yeah in the future if we do it live we can literally do like a little q a sesh um that'd be cool so studio news um so just things that are going on in the studio maybe super fascinating maybe really boring i don't really know um but important to us anyway so um next week is november so the tiny party club boxes the first boxes that are going out are gonna not be those ones over there which are our spooky bees um so we're gonna swap them with the Rainy Day Penguins. The penguins. <laughs> I forgot them. Yeah. Rainy Day Penguins, which are our November box. Um, so we need to send out those ones instead. Um, so we're going to be... Oh, yeah, and it won't be... We're going to have to still put Trick or Treat in any order that was from October, but not anything new that comes in from 1st of November. So I think 1st of November is Sunday. Um, so, yeah, so any Saturday orders we put in them. And then that'll be the cutoff. So if you want to trick or treat with your order, um, now's your last chance. And I'm not going to tell you what it is, so don't ask because I'm not going to tell you because that's the whole point and it's going to ruin it. Uh, that's like every other message I get, like what is a trick or treat? <laughs> I never tell. Um, okay, so then we're going to have, hopefully, so I've done the launch today of the colouring books and the um, Yes Besties standees. Um, so hopefully we're going to have Busy Monday, Tuesday packing those and add my calendars as well, shipping them out. Um, and then the other things is I would love us to get to grips with our um, stock management software thing, which we'll obviously has some ups and downs with. But I think I think it's okay now, so we can start using that hopefully next week. Yeah, I think it will be good. Yeah, I think so. The idea is good, isn't it? Um, and then just prepping for November, which I hope we'll be busy and like getting all our make sure we've got all our boxes and everything ready. Um, so that's next week in the studio um, and no one's on holiday so I think it'd be all good. Um, okay so my favourite section, the Anita accountability section. So <laughs> I've the, got a pen. I was going to ask yeah because no one yeah. wrote anything down last week so I feel like I got away with it. Yeah no exactly so I couldn't remember so yeah. I'm going to write them down this week. Because I haven't done it. I'm going to hold it. <laughs> yeah <laughs> and Betsy do you need to hold me accountable too please please, please I want you to. Um, that's the main reason I'm doing this selfishly for my own organisational skills or lack of. <laughs> Um, okay, so next week I will be doing, so it's the first week of the month, which means Tiny Party Club. Okay, so I'll be designing <laughs> for the next box that isn't designed, which is Princess Oxalot and the Deep Sea Quest. Ooh. I know, voted for by the besties, thank you. Um, so I'll be doing all the designs for that and ordering them, and I will be doing um, a poll in the Tiny Party Club Facebook group for the next theme, um, after Princess Oxalot and the Deep Sea <laughs> Quest. Um, which obviously we don't know what it is yet, but when we do know, I'll be doing the pin design for that, and um, that's our longest turnaround. The pins so we need to do them like way in advance. Um, and then what else have I written? Oh yeah, so I just need to do the things that involve um, turning off this box. Yeah, so this weekend it'll be so turning off the spooky bees box that won't be um, available, and then. We have a little bit of a break where we sort our lives out and then the rain day penguin box will launch maybe maybe like Wednesday or something. Um, so I just need to sort out that. So um, that's all the things that I'm committing for. I'm not going to commit to anything else. I do have a very bad habit of just writing like a massively long to-do list and then just not doing it. Um, last week was longer. 
Yeah, so I'm down, I left and found it. But we can't go down. <laughs> but that was lost in the midst of time because we didn't record yeah. it. But shit. <laughs> um, and you've written it down as well, so yeah, yeah, please do. Please do bring it up next week if I try and weasel out of it. Um, amazing. Okay, and then um, the last thing I want to talk about, which is like, I'm very excited to share with the besties as well. Um, so this will be um, a little bit of a sneak peek, hopefully. But um, I feel like this is new to Jen. Um, you might have seen this board, but I just... I'm quite a fan of whiteboards. Yeah. Um, okay, so I've been thinking about 2021. 20, God, it's so 2021. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> um, okay, and I've been really um, kind of reviewing this year. So I'm just, I'm not even going to talk about COVID because blah, everyone knows that that's shit. Um, but we have done some amazing things this year. So um, we're on track to plant a thousand trees, um, which is one for every t shirt mm. sold. And we've got the jumpers come in. So I think we're like, like nearly 800 at the moment um but if we do it for the jumpers as well then i think we can get to a thousand by the end of the year which is really cool and we've also done um the oh, what's the jam nhs charities project and the fires bush fires in australia project um which feels like so long ago now because it was before pre-covid world um anyway so um, that's kind of really, really good stuff, but I think what I want to do next year is really focus on helping people with mental health problems because that's kind of the root of sugar and sloth, um, and I think we can make a bigger difference by, like, focusing in. Um, so my, like, goal for sugar and sloth um, is making a difference to those struggling with mental health by improving the lives of 8 billion besties, um, which literally sounds like such a wanky, ridiculous number, obviously, but this isn't for next year, obviously. This is for the lifetime of sugar and sloth, which I want to go on like beyond our lifetimes um, and also although besties are anyone who interacts with the brand I want to extend besties to like the people that we actually help with the brand um, as well so that and um, we're doing that in three ways um, with the artwork like being seen in the artwork and um, being supported so and this is what I want ideas from everyone here and um, of how we can support the besties in other ways so like my favorite thing um i always say is the happy text club because i just think that's a really really beautiful thing where we just send you lovely texts um and emails and events like the halloween party that we had last night and um, which is kind of more for me really but hopefully other people enjoy it too um and really like building that bestie community which is yeah it's just amazing um and then um our actual work with a specific charity um so we've obviously done some work um, with Kindness Plus Project, so whether it be with them or someone else, um, but something lovely um, to really kind of make a difference. Mm. Um, I don't know. Mm. Um, Continue making a difference. What, sorry? Continue making a difference. Yeah, make a, make a bigger impact would be really nice. Um, so this is just kind of things I'm thinking about and we'll kind of formulate an exact plan of how we can move forward with this. Um, and what else was I going to say? um yeah i just i just think filming this is really cool as well because it just literally like you can look at this from the year and be like did they do that no like what the fuck um <laughs> i mean not the eight billion but apart from that quite everything else um okay so oh fuck i was gonna have to roll i was gonna have to roll i was gonna try not to swear as well <laughs> okay so done feedback done the possibility um so that's it really um if anyone wants to add anything um okay so I think you should get a little whiteboard so we can write down your account here yeah okay another one. <laughs> <laughs> another whiteboard. Uh, yeah i need no, to put stuff on the like... walls really don't i hmm? uh, we need to put stuff on the walls really don't yeah we? yeah because like we could do it from there might have a bigger picture but like that's what i'm gonna leave it jen way. you're the organizer okay. we're relying on you <laughs> <laughs> okay well if, if i'm off <laughs> No, then I don't have to do anything, will we? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, we'll get some stuff on the walls. I've ordered speakers today. So that's obviously uh, a problem. And yeah, some stuff. We can put some stuff up. Um, suggestions, please, of how we can decorate the studio. Because we're not very good with stuff like that. Um, but yeah, let's definitely do that. I'm just, I'm just filling now, can you tell? Because I was like, fuck, there's one more thing. I'm just thinking what kind of thing. No, I just want to say how much I love the besties, really. Um, anyway, okay, so this is our awkward meeting for this week. Um, tune back in next week to see our other awkward meeting. Uh, maybe we'll get Holly involved as well. Okay, who knows? <laughs> Thank you so much, besties.